it's back and scarier than ever. Scream again. There are many upgrades to the monster midway this year too. And our friend Winston McDaniel, marketing manager, is back and in person. And in person. I was going to say, I feel like every interview we've yeah. done has been virtual, right? I think it has, yeah. Well, it's good to see you in it's person. good to see you, yeah, definitely. <laughs> and this means also that he doesn't come alone. He's got a great team but also bring in some props from the haunted houses. Let's let's first though, before we get into uh, the fun that's on the table, explain what Scream Again is in case people have not heard about it and why it really is an exclamation point when it comes to haunted things in the Bay Area. Yeah, so Scream Again is uh, six haunted attractions. So we have five haunted houses and one zombie paintball assault. And if you know anything about Scream Again, you know that we love interactive haunts. So two of our haunted houses are interactive, which means if you put on one of our glow necklaces that we provide, our actors can touch you, they can grab you, they can put you in your own cell by yourself, put you in a body bag, maybe try to take off your hair, something like that crazy. Mm, yeah, I would want to be like on the opposite side of things from the glow sticks. <laughs> I'd be like, no, no glow stick here. But I know people really want yeah. that. And that's what Scream Again has become to be known for because mm -hmm. this is like a whole other step up from other haunted places that people have heard about before. Yeah, exactly. So other uh, other haunted houses will like put you in the side of the haunted house with a bunch of other people, like a big long line, a yeah. Congo line, if you will. But Scream Again is like the entire house is sitting there waiting for you and your friends or your family or whoever you go there with. So it's a lot more intense. It's a lot more intimate. It's really like walking through this interactive play where the monsters oh. are trying to, you know, do terrible things to you. <laughs> and he says that there so calmly too, yeah. by the way. Yeah, um, yeah. I like that you describe it there. And I feel like as you get ready for this every year, your mind must always be going, what are we going to do this year? How can we make it scarier? How can we make it bigger? What are we doing this year that you've thought about created and now people can enjoy or be scared with? Yeah, we, we do spend the entire year thinking about how can we terrify people? How can we make people super uncomfortable? So we've taken a lot of the houses this year and especially a lot of the fan favorites from previous years, things like Raven Hill Asylum, Demon's Revenge, things like that. Okay. And we take, we take moments of like, okay, cool, this was a break in the haunted house. How can we make this area even scarier by making it darker, making it louder, putting an actor in a different spot? So people who are familiar with the haunt will go through and be totally surprised by how the layout has totally changed. Okay, so I teased it at the beginning. I'm so yeah. glad you're in person because that means you brought some props. Of course we did. Uh, I gotta say, fair to say, all props that um, I don't think I've ever had on the show before. Yep. Um, so an interesting little topic there. One from each house. Walk yes. me through to give people an idea of what the themes are. Yeah, so uh, I guess to go through quickly, so this is probably the weirdest one. Yes. You know, we have a, we have a, a chicken here. A rubber chicken. To us, this means nothing, but, right? to, but to our crazy clowns, this is everything. Oh, and it's a clown it, thing. It's a clown thing. They use it to communicate, to scare <laughs> people with, you know, all sorts of crazy stuff. So there's that. Oh, the clowns. We've got a stethoscope from Ravenhill Asylum, which, I mean, and it's supposed to be used for health, but who knows what the, what the uh, patients oh, of Ravenhill Asylum use it for. Oh, dear. We've got a nice little weapon from our prison area. This hat is from uh, Bloodwater Bayou, which is like a swamp voodoo theme. Yeah. And this is, from, again, also from the prison, uh, which is the prison is one of our interactive uh, attractions. So if you go through that attraction and you put on the glow necklace, you maybe uh, have a cell all to yourself. You did talk about that cell. That was yeah. a good tease for folks. Well, we want to make sure, share the dates. If they yeah. want to go ahead, have fun with Winston and his team. Again, they've been thinking about it all year, oh, so yeah. you know it is good or scary, depending on how you want to describe it. September 9th through October 31st already happening now. Of course, you can get your tickets, screamagain.com. Again, this is recommended, though, for adults and teens, so keep that in mind. Winston, great to see you in great person. Too, thank you. And we hope you stay right there. More Morning Blend in just a few minutes.